Hello everyone, I am Danny Tippett, Lead Beauty Guide with Lime Life by Alcone, and today I wanted to share with you everything you need to know about applying our botanical foundation. So let's take a look. The first thing that you need to know about our foundation is that it is a wax-based foundation. So it's going to come in a compact similar to this. Every palette is customizable, so you can purchase an individual foundation or you can purchase a palette like this with one foundation and two concealers based on your skin tone. Everything is customizable, so you choose your colors. Now I'll talk more about why our foundation is wax-based and what that means in a little bit. But the first thing that you need to know is that a wax-based foundation needs to be warmed up before you start using it. So the easiest way to do this is to take your compact and put it underneath a towel and then place your flat iron or your curling iron over top of it for a minute or two and your foundation will be nice and warmed up at the end. The way that you can tell if your foundation is nice and warm is when you open the compact, you will be able to see that the foundation is a little bit shiny. You'll see a shiny, shimmery sheen to the top of it. And that means that it's nice and warmed up, creamy, smooth, and ready to be applied. The next thing that you need to know is what tool to apply it with. My favorite way to apply the foundation is with our Lime Life by Alcone Blender Full Sponge. It is the best sponge ever. I love this sponge so much. It is latex free, it's micro porous, it is super soft and bouncy, and it is the perfect way to get a flawless look that doesn't look cakey on your face. Now, you do need to make sure that you're using your Blenderful sponge clean. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you clean your Blenderful sponge with our Lime Life by Alcone Come Clean Sponge Shampoo. This is a sponge and brush shampoo, so you can use it for any sponge and any brush. But all you're going to do is you're going to take your dirty sponge, you're going to get it nice and wet, nice and damp underneath some water, squeeze some water through it, and then you're going to take the Come Clean Brush and Sponge Shampoo and you're going to swirl your sponge around in it, get a nice lather, and just start working that soap into the sponge so that it can come nice and clean at the end. You wanna make sure that you're using clean tools because that will prevent bacteria from getting on your face. And it's also great to use the Blender Full Sponge as it's damp. You want it to be nice and damp because you're going to get the best application of the foundation with a damp Blenderful sponge. So it's perfect to clean it right before you apply your foundation. That way it's nice and damp and clean and ready to be used. All right, now let's get started with applying our makeup. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take the first base primer. This primer is a vitamin-based, water-based primer. So you can see it comes in a spray bottle. I always like to shake it up before I apply it. And then I just spray three or four squirts onto my skin. You wanna wait until it dries, and then you can start applying the rest of your makeup. It is so important to use primer because it's going to help your makeup have a nice, smooth, even application that lasts all day long. And you wanna make sure that you're using this primer with our wax-based foundation because if you use a silicone-based primer, it's actually going to make your makeup slip right off of your face. But because this is a vitamin-based primer, it's more than just a regular primer. This does so much more than that. It gives you your skin the vitamins and nourishment that it needs, and it's also going to help reduce redness and reduce the size of your pores over time. So it's totally a win-win using this primer. It makes a huge difference. All right, so once your primer is set in, and it's nice and dry on your skin, I like to take my concealer next. And you wanna make sure your concealer is warmed. But what I do is I take concealer number one. This is a green tinted concealer, so it works as a color corrector for redness. And so I apply this to any spots of redness that I have. You can use our buffer brush, or you can use just your finger to apply it onto your skin to cover any areas of redness. Now I'm not using this as a full coverage product right now. I am just using this to 
color correct so that I have a nice neutral canvas to work on when I put my foundation on over top of it. Another great thing about using our concealer first is that it's actually waterproof. It is a beeswax based concealer and so it's waterproof and when you use it before you put your other makeup on, it's going to create a great base and make sure that your makeup stays locked in place all day and it will not budge. All right, next I take my blender full sponge and then I take my foundation that's nice and warmed up and I'm going to hold my blender full sponge by the end and twist in the flat side of the blender full sponge into my foundation. So I twist the foundation off of my blender full sponge onto my skin, kind of all over. Then I come back and I bounce my blender full sponge so that I'm blending my foundation nice and evenly all across my face. Now you don't want to smear the blender full sponge because it's not going to give quite as full of a coverage. So you're going to want to bounce it. Now let's talk a little bit more about what it means to have a wax based foundation. So our foundation is wax based and what that means is it's going to sit on top of your skin rather than sink down into your pores. So it's not going to cause any acne or irritation or anything like that. When you warm up the foundation, it gives it such a nice, creamy, buttery, smooth consistency. So you only use the smallest amount, but it blends in so well to your face when you use the damp Blenderful sponge. Another crazy fact about our foundation is that it's 50% pigmented. Now, most foundations are only 10 to 23% pigmented, which is less than half of what our foundation has in it. So you only need the smallest amount. As you saw, I only used one twist into my foundation to cover my entire face. You only need a small, small amount, and it's going to feel so natural because you're using the smallest amount of product, and it's also going to look very natural on your skin. Next, I go ahead and apply the concealer that matches my skin tone. Now, I'm just going to apply this with my finger. I just lightly dip my finger into the concealer and dab it onto my skin wherever I want a little bit of extra coverage. So I use this as a spot treatment. Okay, so after you have your foundation on your face, what you want to do next is apply our translucent setting powder. This setting powder is amazing. It was actually designed by a company that creates airbrush makeup. So it was designed to give an airbrush-like finish to your makeup. It is translucent, so it's going to match any skin tone. All you do is take a nice fluffy brush and just tap it into the translucent setting powder. Then just swipe it onto your face. I do a very light layer. If you have oily skin or you prefer more of a matte finish, the translucent powder is a must. Then I add my finishing touches like my blush and my bronzer. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do my eye makeup. And when I'm all done with that, I will come back and use our 16 hour setting spray. This is going to lock my makeup in place all day long. It will truly stay in place for up to 16 hours with our time setter setting spray, no matter what the weather conditions are like. I use about three to four squirts of the setting spray onto my skin and I will either let it dry itself or I will take the Blenderful sponge and lightly pat it into my skin. Now your makeup is set in place and it will look flawless all day long. So that is everything you need to know about our foundation and concealer. If you have any additional questions at all, you can either comment below on this video or you can message me. My contact information is down in the description of this video and I would be happy to help you. I can actually color match you right over a message. I just need a picture of your face in natural light and I will be able to find the best shade for you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful day. Talk to you soon.